Ones are boring, so. <laughs> right, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, we good? Okay. So, uh, what I want to do briefly is just uh, talk about the healthy personality, traumatized personality, uh, and strategic interventions uh, when treating sex offenders. Um, if I was to diagram a healthy personality, uh, basically uh, the left side, the healthy per personality, has, you can see that the orbs have dashes. Okay, and the purpose of those dashes is to indicate there's flexibility in that person's behavior. Uh, as you can see, the gravity on the healthy personality is solid. Uh, there's a certain strength in that gravity. Uh, the traumatized personality, I tried to indicate the orbits are constricted. So you can get a sense that the person's ability for certain behaviors is restricted. And uh, obviously the symbol for that constricted personality is on the upper uh, right. Okay, so uh, the gravity attachment of uh, the healthy personality is supportive. It's, it's, there's a strong trust involved. Uh, the traumatized gravity has the lack of trust. And basically the personality development of the strong, uh, of the healthy personality, the person's going to feel an attachment that's safe, stable, secure, and protected. Um, and the personality development of the uh, dysfunctional, traumatized uh, personality is um, unsafe, unstable, insecure, and they will be guarded. Uh, the healthy person uh, functions as a single whole, uh, has movement and flexibility in uh, his relationships, and uh, there's a balance that's uh, within himself, within the world, and he's able to cope and adjust. That's the healthy personality. And again, that's an alive system. That's uh, what a healthy alive system does. Um, the, um, the gravity of the, uh, of the healthy personality is an uh, attachment that's safe, secure, and stable. Uh, the mercury orbit, the inner orbit, is, uh, feels that there's a, a trustworthiness and reliability. Um, there's uh, empathy. The, the second orbit actually is uh, uh, the person's able to have social relationships. Uh, that's the uh, Venus orbit. Uh, the Earth orbit would be equivalent to empathy, warmth, and uh, genuineness. Uh, the Mars orbit is the person's going to be creative and relaxed. And uh, the Jupiter orbit is they're going to have a sense of humor. Okay? There's a sense of humor, again, a sense of flexibility, uh, playfulness. Uh, so the healthy orbit, is, again, if, we were, if I was to draw the, the uh, maybe a better diagram, the healthy orbit might look something like that. That's a single orbit, and um, it means more choices, okay, so the right indicates more choices. And the healthy personality might look a little like that, if you want to really get confused, okay. Uh, but again, it's just, it's just to indicate that, uh, by the way, more, more choices indicates, a better Im indicates more impulse control. Uh, for that client, okay. The uh, severely person, uh, the severely traumatized personality functions as a single whole. Um, it, it's a movement. It, it has constricted relationships, and that personality has difficulty adjusting, but yet it functions as an alive system. Uh, there's uh, the person may have hostility and violence as uh, their Jupiter orbit. Uh, social skills uh, is difficult, uncooperative, defiant. Uh, inevitably, uh, they will feel anger, mistrust. They have a low sense of uh, self-esteem. And very often, they are controlling, manipulative, lying, and stealing. Uh, and again, the, the gravity of that kind of personality it feels unsafe and insecure. Okay? And that would be what the graph looks like. Uh, the traumatized, uh, traumatized attachment leads to rigid and constricted uh, behaviors, thoughts, emotions, and relationships. Okay. So, uh, and of course, the, the question always comes up, you know, well, should we use paradoxical interventions to work on uh, problem sexual behavior? Okay. And what's the answer? Are you crazy? All right. Do you want to get sued for malpractice? All right, the answer is you can't, you know, if you, if, if you use a paradoxical intervention on uh, criminologic behavior, 
uh, you're asking for trouble, okay, because, because manipulative clients will go in front of the judge and they will say, my client said to do that criminologic behavior was okay, right? So you can't be, obviously that's not what you want to do. So chess is a, a strategic game. The goal is to capture the king, but the whole game is fought around uh, a distance from the king. So it's, you're always playing for lesser pieces, for other pieces, where eventually the, the ultimate goal is to get the king. So what's nice about the orbit's gravity model is that it allows us to, um, to uh, uh, work in a strategic way. So if you go to your astrono astronomer's manual, what you'll find out is that Mercury, it takes Mercury about 88 days uh, to orbit uh, the Sun. Um, Venus is 224, Earth is uh, 365, Mars is uh, 1.9 Earth years. It turns out that Jupiter is 11.9 years. Okay, so why is that significant? Because it means that you can see Mercury's changes happening right in front of you, okay? Jupiter, it's, it, it's this changing going on, or there's an orbit going on, but it happens so infrequently that we don't, if we're talking about uh, problem sexualized behavior, the client may say, oh, I've changed, I've changed, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing that old behavior anymore, I've learned my lesson. But what I can tell you now is that if they're still angry, if they're still mistrustful, if they still are controlling and manipulative, then their, their, their uh, PSB behavior has not changed either. Okay? So in treatment, I'm looking for a shift in uh, anger and mistrust. I'm looking for a, ship, a shift in lying and stealing. And if I see a shift in those areas, then I have confidence that there's also been a shift in uh, the problem sexual behavior, PSB. Okay. So the goal here, obviously, is to shift attachment to gravity. Uh, and again, so I'm going to, what I will work with the client on is their anger, uh, social skills, uh, lying behavior, I might predict lying behavior, I might predict stealing behavior, uh, you know, as long as it's not like in the, you know, criminological, you know, strict, you know, um, uh, real problem area in that. But if it's kids, you know, it's like, you know, that's kind of what they get themselves into. Um, but the focus here, again, is on, is on my uh, impacting the gravity, okay? So in shifting the gravity, okay, so the new gravity influences behavior to become more flexible, okay? Now, the point of this is that as that behavior becomes more flexible, the, the problem behavior was in the problem sexual behavior in the Jupiter orbit, and what we can see is that the kid still has sexual feelings, but he may not be reacting and responding in an inappropriate uh, manner uh, with, with his sexual uh, behavior. And that's what we want to see. So uh, at this level, the, the compulsion level to offend becomes significantly reduced. Okay. Now, what you'll notice is that the, the gravity in this is still not perfect gravity. It's still not, you know, like, you know, the, 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 there's still healing that needs to go on. But the point is, is that at this point, the gravity, his sense of attachment, is enough that the uh, Jupiter orbit has, uh, has shifted. Okay, so uh, there's a close-up on gravity. And, uh, you know, oops, what was that? Okay. So, the, so basically the new attachment creates a new force field, all right, that's, that's going to stabilize. Oops. Um, so, okay, so these are the behaviors that I will work on. Anger, mistrust, lying, defiance. Uh, but overtly I'm not focused on the, uh, the PSB behavior. Why? Uh, as we talked about before, because by working on the secondary non-criminologic behaviors, uh, it will impact the targeted behavior. So when treatment influences uh, anger, depression, self-esteem, uh, there will be a measurable reduction in uh, criminogenic sexual fantasies. And these are the, uh, the bibliography. Questions? Questions? No questions yeah. So, 
So with these particular clients, and I, I don't know if you said what your client population is, um, are you also working on the sexual behavior specific? No. Ever. I just find that it's, it's, a, it's a Jupiter orbit. It's just, it's harder to, um, uh, I mean, I'm aware of it. Uh, let me put it that way. I'm aware of it, but what I realize is that if I can deal with the anger, if I can work on his anger, if I can work on his social skills, if I can work on uh, other lesser behavior, the stealing, the lying, the manipulative behavior, if I can shift that client's sense of attachment, that I know you're going to be manipulative. I know how you're manipulative. You're, you're really a nice guy. You're so all smiles. Hey, you know, hey, give me the smiles. Go, give me, the, give me the, the cute smile. Hey, that was great. Yeah, listen, you've got to give the staff that cute smile too. That'll get you by. All right? When I, when I create that attachment and the client feels that, okay, um, that's when the Jupiter orbit will shift. Okay? There's a question that could go along with that one. If, if that's the, the position, then once you're out of his life... He can go back. Is it going to generalize? Is, is that's, well, that's, what, that's the point. Is that when he becomes a less angry kid... You see, the, the point of, of what I'm presenting here is that um, the abandonment is the issue. That's the core issue. Your kid is abandoned. You're, that's, he, it's, it's the abandonment trauma that is running the show. Okay? So, we see the problem sexual behavior. We see the PSB issue. We see the anger. We see the low self-esteem. We see the, 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 the manipulative behavior. Um, and we see the, social, the poor social skills. This is what you all see this. Okay? But the the issue is, is that you know, the kid gets presented to us because he's got PSB issues. The field assumes, okay, if he's got PSB, B, BSB issues, we have to talk about those issues. That's the assumption. Okay? I'm saying not necessarily. Okay? That not to say, oh, we're not going to think about this at all. This is not an issue. Yes, it's certainly an issue. That's the targeted behavior. However, if we can get that, if we can shift the alliance Okay, if we can increase the alliance to a, a stronger alliance with us, okay? And by the way, first it's with us, then it's with other staff. Hopefully it becomes with family, okay? But hopefully it becomes with people in his neighborhood in a positive way. So that he's less angry, okay? And he's feeling less abandoned. Uh, and hopefully his self-esteem is going to go up a little bit. And hopefully he's going to realize he doesn't have to manipulate everybody to, to, to live in this world and his social skills are better, at that point, it's, uh, you, don't, uh, the, you don't need to draw attention to yourself with uh, the sexual behavior. I mean, logically, why would, you, why would you go back to old sexual behavior when you would lose the privileges of being in a, in a community? Okay? So I'm saying that, that what that would look like is, you know, my, in my mind, what am I doing? You know, this is, if you, if you were to open my, my head up, uh, this is what you would see in my head. Okay, so that I'm, I'm constantly focused on trying to strengthen the alliance, knowing that if I strengthen the alliance, that there's going to be a shift, and that ultimately that shift will affect the Jupiter orbit. Okay.